camp right um, yeah. Yeah. Two out. Yeah, uh, the day we were going on this last year's spring tour, unfortunately had that knee incident. Um, and yeah, it's been a tough seven months or something now, but um, you know, a lot of hard work into it and I'm feeling really confident with my body now. And um, yeah, got to put that kind of nostalgia a little bit behind me and, and do a job this weekend. Can't dwell on it too much, but yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to be back involved. Obviously being here was the goal, right? And, and that's a short, that's a short recovery scene. So must have, you know, is there any particularly you did differently or you just, they, they gave you <coughs> that yet you can get back if you, if you do it, so is it? Um, yeah, I think uh, it, it is a, you know, a pretty fast turnaround, but I had really good support from um, my club down there in, in Melbourne. Uh, Luke Vella, uh, kind of our support s &C staff down there was, you know, for me and Rob, daily talking to us. Um, he works really hard behind the scenes to, you know, get us in this position we are today. So um, big shout out to him, but uh, the, the whole club as well. They were really supportive. Um, Matty, just extending upon that, like last, like it was a couple of hours before you were taking the flight, um, did you think that you might not get back or was it, like it would have been a difficult spring tour to watch on? Uh, um, yeah, there was definitely, you know, yeah, probably heard the story, all the stories before about ACL rehabs, you know, they're, they're pretty, um, you yeah, know, not very nice places, it can get a bit dark and, and those thoughts definitely come, but um, as I said, I had a lot of help from, you know, psychologists and, and people around the club. Um, you know, to, to help me deal with that and, and get me back to where I am today. So uh, it's definitely been a group effort <coughs> and a lot of hard work behind the scenes. So, uh, such a quick run rate of the World Cup. You get an opportunity for the two of you. Uh, it's, it's one of those ones that you kind of feel like you've probably got to take. It must be difficult as well, though, because you've only had a couple of matches back and not going to have played yet. So you've got to take that chance, right? Uh, yeah, obviously, I, I'm desperate to be in that World Cup squad, like everyone. Um, so I think, you know, first, um, first things first this weekend is getting a win against Argentina. Um, and that, that's all I can focus on, I guess. Uh, but I think I'm experienced enough to, you know, I know you said I've only played a couple of games, but uh, I feel ready to go. Uh, I can lean on that experience. You know, it's not my first test match. So, um, you know, I'll be been using past lessons to prepare myself for this game. Just in that recovery process, having, you know, yourself, Rob, um, Andrew Callaway all going through long-term injuries with the same goal. Like, how does that help having a kind of a small group you can kind of not rely on, but just kind of chat through any sort of hurdles you might be sort of facing with, or just kind of dealing with that sort of mental side of it, really? Yeah, well, obviously having having people in rehab, you know, like Rob. Rob's got great energy. Um, uh, it, it's really helpful because the day-to-day the -day in rehab can be a slog. Um, there's a lot of a lot of little things you got to do for a knee or an Achilles. You've got to do every day that come quite arduous, but um, having guys like Rob and Kels around, um, yeah, can can make that day-to-day -day process a little bit better. It's Rob, for yourself, now being this reality where you're back in the Wallabies camp, you know, I think it's just over 300 days since you did it at um, Marvel Stadium. Was this many of? I actually haven't even counted the days, but um, yeah, no, it's awesome to be back. I think this was probably a goal I was sort of, I guess, keeping. At the forefront of my head, um, but obviously trying to just be present as well at the time while I was rehabbing. So I think I knew what it was going to take, and like Maddie said, like some dark times. But I'm um, just trying to have a positive, positive outlook as much as I could every day, even though you know, it can be tough sometimes. But you know, this is what we've been working for, and I'm just stoked to be next to Maddie and obviously riding the bench with him this week. So um, just excited to be back in the mix. You not being able to come back for the Rebels in 23, I know you pushed for sort of a late season comeback, but that potentially that thought of you might have just missed your opportunity to impress with a new coach? <clears throat> yeah, I th to be honest, yeah, I think so. Um, but it's something I can't control. And all I could control was uh, doing the best uh, job possible to come out of rehab in the best shape I could. Um, and obviously there were some chats there, but obviously stuff I couldn't control. So the only thing I could control was just getting my body right, um, being able to team train again, and fortunate enough to actually be back in the mix now. So I'm just just real grateful for the journey that I've been on um, during rehab, and just, again, happy to be back in the mix this week. How's Josh Kennedy's training on the wing going? Is it going right? Uh, he hasn't been on the wing yet, but no, nah, Kim's pretty quick, so um, wouldn't be surprised if he comes on for wing. <laughs> 
What's what's he going to bring though? Obviously, big moment for him, Test debut. Um, do you think he's sort of made for this arena? Yeah, I do. I was Birmingham's now for about three years at Rebels. Um, I've seen him go through a long-term injury as well last year. Uh, how much he's changed, and you can just tell by the season he had with the Rebels. So. Um, for Eddie to, to see that in him and obviously we believe in him as well being at the Rebels uh, we're just stoked for him and I, I know what he's capable of and just the workhorse he is when he comes on the field and just the work he gets through um, definitely know he'll do a job for us this Saturday. What's Eddie's mood been like? Has he been more putting an arm around the younger guys during the week trying to lift, lift spirits or what, what, what's been going on sort of, I guess mentally um, after that result? I think the best thing about it is he just constantly, constantly gives us confidence, um, regardless of the result. So we know we didn't um, do the job up in South Africa, but again, we can't control. Um, all, the, all we can control now is uh, putting the result out against Argentina. So I think the best thing about Eddie is just he, the confidence he gives us, um, and you know, for me and Maddie to be on the bench now with Kems. Obviously, Bones, a few other guys <coughs> that have been changed into the mix. Like we're out there to do a job, and he believes in us, and that's all that matters. Matt, um, Eddie was in here before talking about finding a Wallaby way of playing, a Wallaby way to win. Do you, as players, know what that is yet, or is the idea that that's going to reveal itself through the next few games? Uh, I think I think there's a bit of both. Um, we're, we're trying to go back to that Australian brand of running rugby. Um, which is really exciting for us because that's what we grew up watching. It's it's a little bit how they used to play back in early 2000s, I feel. So um, we do know what it looks like, but it's also learning how to do that on the run. So, yeah, a bit of, bit of both, I reckon. And Robbie, um, Kevin Foote's quietly spoken. Uh, how do you compare to someone like an Eddie? Uh, uh, very similar, I think. Um, their ways of dealing with people were very similar, I believe. Like just the confidence that they give you, um, especially for guys like myself and Maddie, just coming back into the mix after long-term injuries. Um, all he's done is given us confidence, and it's pretty cool seeing that in a coach. Where sometimes you feel a bit intimidated, but um, no, he definitely believes in us to do a job, and that's why we've been selected in the 23. And I believe it's very similar to footy as well back at Rebel. So yeah, it's nice. Eddie, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it. It definitely keeps you on your toes a little bit. Um, you know, but that expectation and that kind of aura that Eddie brings, is it's been really cool to be a part of. Um, you, know, you can see why he gets so much success with the teams he's with because he's so clear on what he wants and he's really good at getting that out of the players so um, yeah, I, I've really enjoyed being in this environment so far and um, I, I know we're going to get the results. Just um, wondering how you <coughs> cope with, um, there's been a lot of stuff recently about how athletes in all sports deal with criticism on social media. Um, when they have results like that on the weekend, there's a lot, everyone's coming in and having their, their, their two bobs worth. Do you, what's your strategy? Do you take it all on board? Do you kind of look for the stuff to fire you up or do you just blanket it out? Um, look, the, the the answer should be you, you don't read it, you don't look at it, but you know it, it's everywhere. So sometimes you do you know, catch a headline here and there, um, but you, you've got to try your best as an athlete to put that to the side, um, stick to our processes individually and as a team. Um, we, we've got a lot of belief in this group. Uh, I, I know we didn't get the result we wanted over in South Africa. We, we were way off the mark, um, and, and we've we've spoken about that. And we've got no choice this weekend but to respond. Um, so, so all I can say to that is, is we do we do see them, but you've got to try to put that to the side. There's a lot of belief in the group, and we know that we have no choice but to perform this weekend um, and, and respond. Do you think people misunderstand what's what's going on? I mean, Eddie's talking about the big picture at the same time. Do you think there's a lot of misconceptions out there? Uh, well, people, yeah, fans, people want results. Uh, so do we. So it's not a misconception. Um, look, people have a lot of higher expectations of Wallabies, and so they should. So I wouldn't say there's a misconception. We we want to win just as much as you guys. Um, but in saying that, it, it is a new kind of environment. We are trying to play the new Wallaby way, uh, and you know you could see on the weekend there was a little bit of um, 
you know, learnings around that. And we've, we've reviewed that obviously really hard. Uh, we've trained with a lot of intent this week and we plan to put out a performance that's um, you know, a response to last week's. Has Eddie's return made you feel any more pressure within the group? Like there's all the talk about Eddie bringing back the, the glory years, getting rugby back on the back page. Do you feel as a group more pressure to sort of make that happen? Uh, I think there's always pressure. Um, you want to perform when, when you get that jersey. There's a responsibility, um, you know, to do well for for that jersey for your country. We're representing Australia here, so um, pressure pressure is part of it. If, if if I didn't feel the pressure, or there wasn't a pressure, I'm probably in the wrong job. Um, it ju it just means we care. So I think bringing back Eddie, um, you yeah, know, the vibe around the group. Everyone everyone has a goal. We want to win the World Cup. Um, so obviously there's pressure with that, but we're accepting the pressure, uh, and when the, we're using that to you know, motivate us every day, on and off the field, the training intensity, as I mentioned before, has been unreal. I think um, you know the coaches, <coughs> coaches have almost tried to calm us down in certain situations. Um, you know when it goes pretty much live on uh, you know install days, which is, which has been awesome. You know it just shows the group is is that hungry to to get the results that we want, but also. Yeah, you know, yourself, the fans, and um, the people of Australia want.